Hello everyone, welcome back to Fate Stay Night. Apparently I didn't reach the end of the scene and people are freaking out at me for not seeing it. This better be worth it, guys. Because there's some stuff going on in the main timeline. But apparently this is super important. Why is fasting the best option in the entire game? See, as soon as it's hit, I was like, oh, now we're into serious time. Many times more than the magical energy I have, too. Servants use up huge amounts of magical energy just by existing. But Saber can only create enough magical energy to keep herself alive. いいえ。理解してもらえたのならいいのです。それよりしろ。ああ、分かってる。昼食なら作ってやるんだ。今日は弁当だから今すぐにでも。いいえ。せっかくですから、もう少し鍛錬を続けましょう。and then, Saber gives him a shinai and steps far enough away to start a match. Saber? Ah, yeah, that's not good. No Oh! What is this aura? Hold on, I just felt a real chill. This malice. Saber. I ask her timidly. Oh! Well, hey, shout out to them putting that sword in her hand, but okay! Armor! Armor with the Shinai? Fully armed? What is this? Okay, no, this is worth it. She won't listen to me. An impact like lightning. With her shackles as my teacher released, Saber attacks me violently. Oh! Oh, that's a death, huh? Hi, you don't even have a choice. You have to be here. Oh, huh. Nope, this was a good one. Good job, guys. しかし、人生注意 I'm sorry, what? いじるか。いじるか。よし。これより改造手術を行う。何かの手違いで読み取れないようにまずは両手をガトリング法に改造するのだ。What? Oh. Okay. This was an important thing to do. What? Oh, huh. These hands. Yes! Instantly, Ope Shurio! Dokane, then she will Kaizo Sarada Kibunwa. Dana, Kimino Ishio Sonchoshi, Saigo no Kaizo, no Shutu to a Yameto Ita. Oita! Sa. このまま自主的に我らトラッカーの一員となるか、洗脳されてマシンとなるか、君の意志で決めたまえ。大変です、音。実験体が改造されたパワーを使って高速を引き継ぎりました。これはまるで一度破壊されます。我々は自らの手で
剣道に合わせているのですから死ぬ気になれば少しは耐えられるでしょうまだやる気満々なのですか当然です昼食まであと10分いつも通り限界まで打ち込みます This is the wildest side path Thank you all for telling me to go here Saber Shinai of Anger strikes again Well, are we dying again? My consciousness starts to fade again. I should be careful. Saber is someone who will retort through thoroughly when angered. Dead end again? Are we gonna die again? Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, um, skip this scene. No. Cause then, at loon then we start to eat lunch. Okay. That was worth it. Anyways, the power went off. And a cat knocked over a light? The loud bell rings out, and the house falls into darkness. The surround- oh yeah, big mood change. The surrounding air changes immediately. Even though the lights suddenly went off, nobody says a thing and tries to feel the surroundings. The loud ring stops, and the living room is silent. But, the sound of light things rubbing against each other can be heard in the distance. And nods silently. The sound is the same as when Lancer intruded. Then this must be. <laughs> Who? The sounds are increasing and coming closer. A strange sound. It reminds me of bugs crawling around a light trap. This living room is the only place free of the sound. It hasn't even been a minute yet since the lights went out, but the living room is surrounded by this unknown sound. <laughs> There's too many of them. I'm a Magus too, even if I'm a bad one. I can sense that many sources of magical energy surround this place. Skimming quickly, I count at least 20. But they are strangely light. I don't feel any human will. The things making the sound are like empty puppets. Ooh. Oh. Unlike the three of us who are tense, Ilya is strangely calm. Oh. Oh, it's just... It... Just cast her in a bunch of golems, you know, as you do, I guess. Ilya says simply, and the sound stops at the same time. I take the wooden sword I keep in the living room. Tosaka and Saber seem to be waiting for me to make a move. I... A wild... A wild caster appears. Not a beaver, though. That is a French joke for my francophone viewers. Let Saber take care, then protect the other two. Go out with Saber. I mean, I'd love to go out with Saber, so let's pick that option. Heyo, oh, it's clear who the enemy is. If the enemy's servant, if Castor is attacking with troops, there's only one thing to do. そんなの私だって願い下げよう。けどあんた、シロの言うことなら聞くって言ったでしょ。あいつが言ってるんだから、おとなしく従いなさい。そんなの知らない。セイバーなんかより私の方が役に立つ。Tosaka binds Ilya's arm behind her back and puts her hand over Ilya's mouth. Ilya continues to throw out insults. わかってる。イリアは私が守りきるわ。Kind of crazy that Castor decided to attack us instead of the other way around. Tosaka nods back, telling me I don't even need to say it. Turning my back on Tosaka, I hurry out to the hallway leading to the porch. Nodding back to Tosaka, Saber follows me. Oh! Skeletons! In that moment, 
I doubt my own eyes. A sword is swung down on me. An unavoidable strike attacks me, aiming for my open head. Oh, yo, what? Just, uh, uh, then I, then I was killed by a skeleton. Or no, I avoid it by twisting my body and pairing instantly with my wooden sword. I can't believe it myself. My body reacted as soon as my mind understood I was going to die. It attacks me the second time without hesitation. A smooth mechanical movement. A wasteless, accurate attack. But that's all. It's just accurate, and it's not refined nor scary. The attack looks foolish compared to those of Saber, and it feels like the touch of a feather compared to Berserkers. I repel the attack with my back to the wall, and in the space I retreated through, Saber's lightning strike smashes down. Looks like our training was good to have. Yo, what's this funky beat? Saber scolds my carelessness. She's right, but I didn't want to be following after her. There's nothing in the hallway. The strange thing that was blown away by Saber's attack was vanished like an illusion. He's, they're, they're just Muso troops, that's all they are. More skeletons! Where were they hiding? No, when did they get this far in? Those things, like bad building blocks, are gathering with spider-like movements. And on top of that, they aren't the only presence I feel. Many more bones are surrounding this mansion. I jump away from the wall instantly. I slash at the bone, bones sidling up on me. After that, Saber smashes away the bones, the bones, to protect my back. Sorry, I gotta do it every time. The bones move in with loose movements and attack all in the same way. It's not hard to repel them, but the house gets destroyed by every attack. No, and I only have a wooden sword. Even with the strengthening magic on it, it won't last too much longer. And I don't want to think about it, but the number of these bound creatures might be infinite. We might continue the skirmish until we collapse. I mean, obviously from the caster, but I complain with my back to Saber. Not many bound creatures are coming for me. They must be coming from inside the house as well, but most of them are coming in from the yard. Saber is slashing away the ones coming in from there. Their goal is the living room. As Ilya and Tosaka are in the living room, Saber is busy dealing with the ones heading there. Saber readies her sword again. Her sword isn't invisible now. Maybe there's no need to hide it now, but the golden sword is glowing to show off its true powers. <laughs> wow, you just don't mind, huh? Well, if she doesn't say it's its name, it won't activate, right? It'll just be a sword, right? I yell while paring away bounds in front of me. I like how, how she was like, nah, I don't care about my house, but other people. He truly is the most selfless person, huh? Well, let's go there. I like us casually killing the skeletons. The yard is right there. If casters in the yard, it shouldn't be too hard to get there. But that means losing the defense. 
It's fine now since Saber's here, but the defense is holding the bound creatures off will go away once Saber goes up to the yard. I should... Oh. Uh, what to do with these boners? Not those type. Hey, hey. Um, believe in... T I can... I believe in Tosaka. Saber? No, 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 no. We believe in Tosaka. She can do this. The sound of glass breaking. I hear sounds of fighting in the living room. No, it's fine. She'll live. I know. Either way, we're making the situation worse by delaying the decision. Saber runs, smashing away the swarming BOUND creatures. It looks like a snowplow driving through snow. The BOUND warriors vanish without even being able to approach Saber. Are they like snowflakes? Or BOUND flakes? There's so many scattered BOUNDS and I feel like I'm in a BOUND storm! Sorry, I love skeleton voices. Just like... Like Skeletor and all that, it's great. She told me I'd, I'd have. She told me I'd have her back, but there's no need to protect her like this. She more than makes me realize how great a swordsman she is. Saber charges without doubt. The foundation for all these bounds to defeat the unseen sick servant that has invaded this mansion. Saber stops. The swarming warriors cannot be seen anymore. This must be the end, as someone is standing there, a distorted figure. The figure wearing some kind of robe cannot be seen as if only that spot is smudged in black. A black shadow. I'm assaulted by an unknown unease the instant I look at it. The figure snickers. She takes a Snickers bar is what it is. It seems the thing in black is the master of the bound creatures. Servant caster. But... I don't see any sign of a master near the figure. Is caster the same as Lancer? The type to take action away from their master? Saber asks unpleasantly. So then how are you... How are you going about? Who you joined with? I don't know what kind of expression that black robe is making, but Caster answers in a cold voice. Uh, she killed a bunch of people to stay alive, got it. Alright, is this gonna be like the evil witch from Arthurian legend? M Morgan? Who was it? Uh, it was... How do I go to... Uh, who was it? I saw it here. Whose name is it that I totally knew? Whose name was it? Uh, uh, it was. I saw the Morgana. Was it Morgana or Vivian? Either way, we'll see here. Oh, did she possess the person then? Saber's body inclines a little. There's only about 10 meters to cast her. Saber should be able to close in on caster in under one breath and slash cast her away. Talk. Saber intends to kill Caster. I won't oppose. I can only smell blood on Caster. 
I bet what Caster said about killing your master is true. This raid was also intended to kill everyone here. So there's no reason to stop Saber. First of all, Caster won't even be a match for Saber. I can sense Caster's ability. Caster is the weakest when it comes to one-on-one -on -one combat. In this situation, Caster can do nothing but fall to Saber. Damn it. Save her. But I can't shake off this strange unease. This isn't like the hopeless premonition of death like with Berserker. It must be physiological hatred or an alarm against something bad. My left hand throbs as if to tell me that Saber shouldn't go near that thing. Oh, I hesitated too long. Saber jumps and sprints to the black shadow. Oh, ma magic missile! The distorted shadow smiles. I can now see her. She is quite shapely? Caster doesn't seem to be panicking about the approaching Saber. Atlas? Uh, Atlas? Like the company that makes Persona? Caster says something in a language which I can't hear and casts something that appeals to the brain more than words. Whoa! The world distorts in that instant. No, the density of the air changes only around Saber. Ooh, a huge impact. The ground sinks and it seems like something large came crashing down onto Saber. No, there was a murmur like a spell. Spells can indeed be shortened. The easier the magic, the shorter one can reduce the spell to change the self. But what's occurring before me is a great magic. No Magus can express that in one word. Even if it is possible, they'd have to prepare a catalyst beforehand like Tosaka does. But still, Castor executed great magic with just one murmur. Castor isn't just on a different level. If that was Castor's magic, the figure is no mere Magus. Saber is frozen on the spot. Her leg froze as it kicked off the ground. She is bound in space right now. No, the air surrounding her has transformed into something clear like gelatin. Jello magic? Even if I try to approach her, I'm pushed away by an invisible soft membrane. It seems that this is the only it seems that this is only around Saber, but as long as her feet are not on the ground, Saber cannot move. Okay, okay. So she is before Saber's time, got it. A laugh comes from the black robe. Saber is still bound in space. Oh, dang. She spits those words out. Whoa. No jello for Saber. The black robe retreats. After canceling Caster's magic in an instant, Saber dashes with lightning speed. But I... All status screen updated. For whom? Caster? Just that we could see her? Abilities? Just girl. Neutral evil. Uh, that's her stats. Territory creation creates a space that is advantageous to one as a magus. Enables the creation of a temple superior to a workshop. Huh. Allows the creation of tools that carry magical energy. It even allows the creation of an immortality serum, but the result is only an imitation. Huh. Skills? High speed divine language. Allows the activation of magic without connecting the magic circuit or encanting, uh, encanting the spells. Even great magic can just be activated with a single action. Um, it is the language. Um, it is a language from the age of God, so modern humans cannot pronounce it. Why is the cat from Melty Blood there? Do y'all do y'all see that? Do y'all do y'all see the do y'all see the melty blood cat? It's just there. Now I know I know melty blood is connected. Don't get me wrong. Also, I bought melty blood. It was on sale on Steam. But uh, there's. That's the cat from Melty Blood, huh? Okay. Okay, let's head back. Um, okay, so. Uh, this Saber. Should do it? Question. I don't know what to write for these. Uh, yeah, do it. Go. Don't be timid. 
We're cornering Caster. If we pull back, we might give Caster a chance to turn things around. Saber's sword moves quickly. She's already right in front of Caster, and Caster will be slashed in an instant. But Saber suddenly stops. Not because of Caster's counterattack, but by her own choice. Kisama. Saber instantly tries to dodge. But she's too late. Saber totters as if grabbed by something, and in that instant. Oh! A warped dagger stabs Saber in the chest. Kasta. A, a little, little, little knifey? So, it's a little knifey. Um, trying to think what a little knifey would be. Saber falls to her knees, even though she has taken no wounds. Before I can ponder this mystery... Uh, oh no! The last commencement disappears from my left hand. Oh, we're gonna super die. The vessel? Hmm. Caster's arm rises. A wave of air performed with no action hits me. I can't stand up. My legs are twisted like a jellyfish from the blow and won't move. Okay, is she Pandora? A snicker. Saber stands up. <laughs> Saber, you're not yourself when you're hungry. Eat a Snickers. She slowly walks to me with steps like those bound creatures and... Swings her sword down with eyes like she's having a nightmare. <laughs> Caster's laughter tears my ears apart. My brain dies with questions still unanswered. Yeah, like the end of this game. A night like red jelly. Only the figure of Saber looking down at me with tears in her eyes. Dead end. Ripperoni. Yeah, let's do the Tiger Dojo. Weirdly, the, the prompt that asks this is the Tiger Dojo take the advice does not pop up on my recorder. Yeah, what's happening here? Yes. Seems like I missed something. えっと、Okay, but I want to I want to go back and see the other one then. Oh, really? Okay. This is just them saying, Gambare, you can do this. Yeah, I want to go back and see the other one then, because that sounded like I missed some shenanigans. So we'll go here um, this time. So the last one we did was uh, not that one. So so it was Saber should do it. Um, 
So we, so we, we had her attack it. So yeah, we'll go back. And this time we'll go, uh, let Saber take care of Caster. I'm not happy about relying on Saber, but we have no choice. Even though we came out together, I'm just a burden to her. Saber should be able to get through the bone, cr bone creatures and get to Caster by herself. I'm gonna go through this pretty quickly. Because I wanna, I wanna get back to the main story, but I wanna see how this bad ending goes. Oh, he, he doesn't care. She jumps out into the yard with light footsteps. Saber slashes away the swarming bound creatures without difficulty. Let's head back to the living room. If I stay here, I might get surrounded by the bound creatures and trouble Saber. This is truly a bad choice. What a stupid choice. Alright, gonna place a hard bet. What's gonna happen is, is we're gonna be in here, and then Saber's gonna come in looking evil and kill us. Yeah, about that. I don't feel any hostile presence here. As long as we don't go outside, there's no danger of getting attacked by those bound creatures. And if Ilya's words are true, the battle will end soon. Saber won't lose in a one-on-one -on -one fight. And Saber doesn't need to protect us. She could, she should slash cast her way easily. That's right. Caster came to this mansion willingly. If Caster knew a master was here, Caster should also know which servant is here. Saber, her natural enemy, is here. If Caster comes to attack here in spite of that, that would mean... Uh -oh. oh, this would be really bad if I didn't go the other way. I look at my left hand. Oh, no, I'm a sick tat. What does it mean? The proof is of, of the contract. The command spell has disappeared. Shiro. What's going on? Saber should have defeated Caster with no problems. So why did my command spell disappear? No, the disappearance of the command spell doesn't mean the end of the contract, so I shouldn't panic too much. The command spell is there to control disobedient servants. I never needed it with Saber. So even if it goes away, Saber and I will do just fine. Saber, come back. Oh no. Oh, it's actually kind of scarier now that we know the other way. What are they doing? Saber's coming back, so why do they have to be why do they have to be on guard like that? The door opens. Saber enters and steps in holding her chest in pain. I run to her. I can't hear Tosaka's warning. My only concern is Saber in pain. Uh oh! Oof! I'm slashed from my left shoulder to the waist in a single blow. The brilliant slash numbs the pain, and the mysterious healing power doesn't work against Saber's sword. My consciousness fades away. Before I die, 
Eclipsing my fear of death is the question of why Saber killed me. Dang, dude. Dead end. I let's see what this Tiger Dojo is, because it sounds like there was a lot here. Oh, what? It's at night. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Little Doodle Saber. <laughs> I like it when he dies easily from a simple mistake. What's this sad music? <笑>どんなに優勢だろうと油断しちゃいけないっていうことかな。シロはマスターなんだからセイバーちゃんのちょっとずつ猛進なところを諌めてあげないとダメだ。え、違うわ。今回悪いのはセイバーでしょ。キャスターなんかの罠にかかっちゃって気が抜けてる証拠だわ。大方シロを意識して一人でいいところを見せようとしたんでしょうね。なのにシロを殺しちゃうなんてセイバーのクラスの落ちたものだわ。Oh dang, roasted. <laughs> what are those sounds? あ、ちっちゃい。シーレディーとしての魅力もたりないし。なんかセイバーってオーグライナだけのパワーキャラって感じ。ああ、イレちゃん、ストップストップ。セイバーちゃんも反省してるし、こう傷口に塩塗りた
That's a tough sentence. As a result, Caster's dagger wrenched open my back. Uh, this also seems like a bad end. I stopped myself from crying because of the pain and strengthened my grip on Saber. I can't tell what words are being said beside my ear. Before I can tell her to jump away, Saber must have understood. My body moves. Saber jumps back as if to shake off the hands coming from the ground, and I'm carried with her. Saber's voice is urgent. Even though she laid me on the ground softly, the pain in my back just increases. It's like having my back cut open with scissors, then having lead driven into it. From this pain, it feels like a cell phone is being pushed into the wound. Sorry, what? Why specifically a cell phone? You could have said a brick or something. I guess she's not panicking, but the loud voice rare for Saber makes me rather calm. Nodding my head, I point to where Caster should be. Saber faces Caster once again. Saber's voice sounds threatening. The dark shadow clucks her tongue in irritation and raises the warp dagger in her hand. I mean, it won't kill me, but it still hurts. Even though she says so, I can sense less composure in Caster than before. Even as a powerful, even as powerful as Caster is, as long as she's using magic, she won't be able to hurt Saber. No matter what kind of a noble phantasm that dagger is, it won't do any good against Saber now. I order her, gritting my teeth. あら、それでいいのセイバー。確かにあなたなら私を追い詰められるわ。けど、その間に誰がそこの男を守るのか知らね。言うまでもないでしょうけど、私の魔術が通じないのはあくまであなただけ。あなたがそこの坊やから離れ
もういないのだから倒されたのでしょう,うん主も守れないサーバントは消えて当然よ<笑> Assassin was beaten? Then the master at Ryudo Temple is no more? I didn't even know his identity, but that means another master has disappeared. The only remaining servants are Saber, Caster, and Lancer, who has not shown himself since that first night. <laughs> uh, no. ホーグはその持ち主でなければ使えないと、英霊ならば分かっていよう。ああ、そうだったわね。けどそれならあなたごといただくまでの話よ、セイバー。どんなに優れた騎士でも、捕らえてしまえば同等でも怪獣できるし
The man answers with a verdict of death. A snap. When I realize the sound is of his fingers snapping, the tragedy has already begun. Many weapons appear in space and shoot at Castor like a machine gun. Castor raises her arm. Concept of a shield. A film like glass is creating, uh, created right above Castor. It probably has strength equaling Berserker's body. But was it useless because it was made of glass? Built like a crystal, it cannot even block one of the showering weapons and shatters into pieces. A dumbfounded voice. Without showing any concern for Castor's question, they pierce the black robe. There's no mercy at all. The robe is pierced by lances. As the robe is blown away, more lances pierce it. The sword into her fallen body, an arrow into the arm falling to the ground, and an axe into her pained head, each becomes a deadly guillotine. Survival is impossible. Castor is completely cut apart and dismantled, and now she looks like a mountain of red meat. Thank god there's no CG for that. Wind blows. The black robe who lost its master floats away. Floating away, the shredded robe still barely keeps its form. Now, it is all that remains of what used to be Castor. I can't say anything. My strained mind just watches the black robe floating miserably in the wind. In that instant... <laughs> The golden man roars in a voice full of contempt. It's not an illusion. The black robe twists like a wave, grows wings, and tries to fly away. What? But it's too late. I don't know what the man did. It's just that a crack ran through the night sky. The dislocation of the sky swallows the black robe. It reminds me of someone getting run over by a steamroller. The black robe falls. Underneath it is Castor unscathed. There. Oof! The swords shower into her. The scream echoes through the night. The swords multiply in response to the scream, and the scream gets louder in turn. Castor must have regenerative powers like Saber. She cannot die even when sorbs are stabbed into her, so her figure is just too miserable. The rain doesn't stop. The weapons each differ in shape, and none of them are the same. Boy, I wonder what this attack is called. There's... an unlimited amount of blades, and they're doing some dirty work. Let's call it Infinity Arms. <laughs> The merciless reign of noble phantasms. Castor struggling under it is just... Oof. I was really expecting the voice actors to go more ham there, because that's a lot of haz. And that ends it. With a black mist hiding Castor, the servant disappears. The infinite cycle of torture that I thought would last forever lasted only about 10 seconds in reality. Through it all, Saber stares at the Golden Knight standing on top of the wall. <laughs> So, but what are you? Which of the... No? The man says in an intimate manner. Saber doesn't answer. But her glare is different from before. Castor 
もっともそれは俺だけの話なのかお前にとってはつい先日の話であった Yeah, because she was in the last war, but then was this guy too, huh? まったく男を待たせるとはたわけた女だ Hey, only I'm allowed to be casually sexist around Saber The man laughs happily My chest is hurting Partly from seeing that tragedy, but more than that, I feel sick when the man looks down on Saber with such a ridiculous expression. <laughs> Commenting unhappily, the man turns to the mansion. There, on the porch of the living room, are Ilya and Tosaka. <laughs> Ilya is looking up at the man as if she's seen a ghost. Straining her eyes, she shakes her head, saying it's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Ilya jumps off the porch and glares at that man. Oh. Yeah, whoa, hey, get those tattoos off. My call to restrainer comes too late. The cluster of magical energy Ilya releases shoots straight for that man. A clanging sound. The man didn't do anything. <coughs> oh, I was getting hype. A mirror like shield appeared in front of him and reflected Ilya's magical shot. Hopefully, not straight back at her. As she fired the magical energy in anger, there's no way she could react to it. Ilya stands dumbfounded before the magical energy she fired. She is barely saved by Tosaka, who instantly blocked it. Hmm. Okay, I'm starting to detect hints of a time loop. The man looks at Ilya. A cold stare like the one directed at Saber. A stare prizing a possession. Ilya still glares at the man, pinned by Tosaka. What? What is happening? The man speaks plainly. What kind of effect does it have? Ilya shakes violently and faints. That's it. That's all that'll happen. All Tosaka and I can do is look up at that man. We both understand. He isn't looking at us. We would just share Caster's fate if we raised our voices. But Saber is different. She is staring at the Gold Knight in a different kind of silence. What? Wait, what? What? Saber tries to control her voice. Tosaka and I can only be shocked by her words. What? Is he the previous archer then? Saying so, the man turns away. He turns his back as if saying he has no interest in us. The man disappears. With that, the tension in the air vanishes, and the yard returns to its usual silence. But that's the only thing that's returned. My home is ruined, and Ilya is unconscious. Saber, keeping her back to us, still bears that heavy silence. Wow. Huh. Previous archer? Okay. Well, let's read the status upgrade here. Yeah, uh, there's another archer here. 
Okay, so there's going to be a couple extra, I guess, because we had that archer. And now we have this archer. He's chaotic good? Really? Um, can act without a master. Defense against magics, E. Interesting. Details. Skills? Charisma, A. Oh, that's not a good face. Talent to command and lead a great army at this level is not so much a strength of character, but more like a curse. Yo, that's kind of crazy. Noble Phantasm, we got nothing. What about weapons? Caliburn. Dur oh, wait, okay, wait. Caliburn. Durandal. A holy sword favored by Roland, the Paladin Knight of the Middle Ages. Uh, the King Charlemagne. Uh, do we got this? Wait, who, wait, what? The King Charlemagne was granted the sword by an angel and rewarded to Roland, the honored leader of the Twelve Knights. It holds three miracles and does not lose its sharpness even when its possessor's magical energy is depleted. Like Caliburn is a single symbol of power splendidly made. Okay, that's different from Caliburn. We got Herpy here. A monster-killing holy sword. I'm sorry, that's a sword? Used by Persis, the most famous hero in Greek mythology. Herp itself is not an outstanding sword, but as its greatest characteristic, it possesses the ability of the refraction of prolonged life. This is a divine skill that nullifies the special abilities of immortals, and it's said that the wounds made by Herpy cannot be healed. Treatments in accordance with the laws of nature is still possible. It was used to kill the youngest of the three mortal sisters, Medusa. Interesting. We got Vajra. Where are these coming from? I don't, where, did, were these things that he was throwing? One of the divine symbols of Indra, god of lightning from uh, some uh, ancient Indian mythology, Indra was actually a phenomenon introduced by the Aryans, and Vajra is officially called Vidya, but uh, was renamed to uh, Tai Shakuten at the age of uh, Buddhism. His divine symbol also changed the name. A single shot noble phantasm, his damage is about B+. It is a simple weapon that does fixed damage regardless of the possessor's magic energy. Also, Vajra's weapon that Buddhist gods possess. And we've got Dane Slef. A demonic sword from Nibelugan. A cursed noble phantasm that brings uh, ruin to its possessor. It is a demonic sword held down through the family that killed the noble European hero Sigurd. And it is a noble phantasm originally possessed by the dragon Fafnir. It has a strong curse of revenge, but also guides its possession to ruin. Demonic swords and holy swords contain both glory and ruin, but this noble phantasm only brings ruin to its possessor. That's not good. And then we saw the Mona Shazao. That's the laundry pole. We've got a few more there. We also have this one, the, Ho the Hotengeki. Uh, this is a one-of-a-kind halberd passed down in Chinese culture. A halberd is a polearm used to strike and thrust in as many usages. Although it was, was a weapon that was used by anyone, it died out as time passed until it was revived in the Sung period as the Hotengeki. Hoten Hoten it has many uses, such as thrusting, swiping, pulling, and pairing, but on the other hand, it said that a great deal of skills needed to handle this weapon. The crescent moon-shaped blade, well, I guess that's, yeah, is called the crescent blade, of course, and we call weapons with only one of these blades, uh, Sei Ryugeki. Ryu meaning dragon. That's all I know. Out of the many halberds, only this halberd was promoted to the rank of Noble Phantasm, probably because it was used by a famous military commander. So, like, that dude can just summon a bunch of those, huh? Okay, okay. Well, next time, um, the Golden night says bye and we are confused we'll see you next time for some more fate stay night everyone ciao